Heroes Like Us is a series intended at sharing comic book characters from various backgrounds and identities. We won't always get everything right, so feel free to make amendments and corrections in the comments. They're always appreciated. What's not appreciated, however, is any form of hate speech or intolerance, so comments of that nature will be immediately deleted and those users blocked from this channel. This is a place of education and celebration. Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic, and welcome to Heroes Like Us, our series where we look at a certain identity, and then we look at characters that have that identity in comic books. Today we are going back to Asia, but we're looking at smaller countries that maybe don't have as many heroes, um, so we're kind of doing other Asian countries that we haven't talked about. So we have videos about Vietnam, Japan, China, Korea, but we don't have enough heroes for some of these smaller countries. So we're gonna kind of jump around. So let's start by heading to Sri Lanka. We have the character Suvik Sanyaka from Marvel Comics. Sanyaka is usually a bad guy, teamed up with a group called the Acolytes, and he can siphon basically life energy from people. So he uses this, he can take their energy and he can boost his own strength or speed. Uh, and he has a weapon that allows him to also siphon energy from people and it's this kind of whip. And so it's a little bit like Omega Red, which we talked about in our Russian video, uh, where he can use this whip and kind of leech off of people to make himself stronger. But in addition to siphoning energy, he can also use this whip to damage people, paralyze them, shock them, etc. He has died a few times in the comics, but it seems that this energy that he leeches from people can almost be held in a reserve which can bring him back to life, it seems. It hasn't really been super explained, but he's come back multiple times without a lot of explanation. And now we head to Indonesia, where we talk about the hero Komodo, Melati Kusama from Marvel Comics. Komodo was in a car accident when she was young, and she lost both of her legs. But she didn't let that get her down. She studied, she worked really hard, she went to college, and she studied with Dr. Kurt Connors, who is known as the Lizard because he was able to find a way to regenerate limbs. And so she was obviously super fascinated with this and eventually found a way to perfect his formula. So she can grow back her legs, but it gives her this semi-reptile appearance. But like I said, she perfected the formula. And so when she turns into Komodo, uh, she doesn't lose control like Connors does when he turns into the lizard. So she's able to maintain her composure uh, and kind of keep herself in check when she takes on this form. She lives most of her life in the Komodo form. She only shows her real appearance and the lack of legs to people that she really trusts. And now we go to Tibet, where we meet the heroine Swift. Shen Li Men from Wildstorm and DC Comics. Swift basically has this avian twist on her genetics, which gives her wings, uh, but it also gives her things like talons that she can retract and extend. Uh, but the wings are a big part of it, so she's able to fly incredibly fast, fast enough to even catch some speedsters in the DC universe. Now in later comics, Swift took on a protector role called a doctor. Uh, and basically these doctors are protectors of the Earth and the Earth's ecosystem. And so she kind of gains this magic ability to kind of protect the Earth no matter what it takes. This magic is incredibly powerful, so she can alter reality, and she has all of the knowledge and experiences of every past doctor and can even communicate with them after they're dead. So that is Swift from DC and Wildstorm. Lastly, we have a group from the Philippines and I wanted to touch on them, but there's very, very little to talk about, which is unfortunate. And this is a team from Marvel Comics called the Triumph Division. In the Marvel Universe, this is said to be the group that protects the Philippines. So it's like Alpha Flight. It's like that's their home and that's what they protect. Uh, the Triumph Division, however, is really supporting characters in a few Iron Man stories. Uh, at one point they were just used as a plot point that they were killed. Um, all of them have unique abilities and titles that are passed down to other people. So they're almost all legacy characters and so we'll see a character like Red Feather 
but then we'll see Red Feather 2, Red Feather 3. Uh, so they're all titles that are passed down and people train and prepare for almost their entire lives. So that is it for our visit kind of through some other Asian countries. If you missed some of our others, check out the entire Heroes Like Us playlist right here. Make sure you subscribe right here, and we'll see you next time.